if it is a bill that will set up a fund to bring out the best in the young people, that bill will work wonders. When government gives you institutional support, it sets up a framework where they bring your idea and they link it to the marketplace. This is a bill that will make empowerment of youth sustainable. In other words, before now we've been having politicians come up with empowerment programs that usually only last within their tenures. But with this bill, if it is turned into a law, if it is passed into a law, this bill is going to make the development of youth in Akwabom State a long-term policy. So I call on the executive arm, the legislative arm, everyone, every stakeholder, especially the youth, to all come together and push for this bill to sell through. My name is Imabong Akpan Akpan. I support the AKYDF bill. Akwaibon people need this bill at this point in time because there's so much joblessness. And this bill will create job for each and every Akwaibom child to make the child, to make children to leave their streets, to contribute to the gross domestic uh, product of Akwaibom state and ensure that every youth has food on the, on the table. The moment you are able to create job, you can stop kidnapping. The moment you are able to create job, you can stop cultism. The moment you are able to create job, you can stop vandalism. So I'm calling on the government, I'm calling on the speaker, I'm calling on every meaningful acquired person to stand up and support this bill. I am Comrade Wanapi Tautu and I support AKY. PF bill. And I call on all young Akwaibomites to come out and support this bill. This bill is our own and it is for our it is for our own good. I and Ebet NFL Udokan hereby support the Akwaibom Youth Development Fund Bill. It is a bill that will transform the lives of every Akwaibomite I there to be part and parcel of this bill. So I support AKYDF. Thank you. Beautiful thing about this bill is that it is sustainable. The future, the turning point, and the birthing of innovation in the lives of youth in Akwaibom State. Support AKYDF bill. The AKYDF bill is a bill for a law to implement a sustainable youth policy framework through the establishment of Akwaibom Youth Development Fund. It is sponsored by the Chief Whip, Akwaibom State House of Assembly, Honorable Emmanuel Bassi. Now, the Youth Alive Foundation, a non-governmental organization, together with 53 civil societies, have been working on this bill for about 506 days. And um, on Wednesday, the 19th of September 2018, we will be having the third hearing of this bill. And I'm hoping that every concerned young active citizen of Akwaibom descent will be at the Akwaibom State House of Assembly to hear what it is about. There has been concerns and that is very normal. This afternoon I'm being joined by Onyeka Aja of the Youth Alive Foundation. She will be throwing some light on some of these concerns. You're welcome on the program. <laughs> so what is the AKYDF bill now? The AKYDF bill is a bill for a sustainable youth development framework in Akwaibom State. Simple, make this practicable. What is the AKYDF bill? Okay. Can I speak in pigeon? Yes, please. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm a fire down. Okay. Uh huh. AKYDF be bill. Bill they, they call them law. Where we say if they put that law for ground, mm -hmm. youth, young people go get work. They go you know, when they get idea, they go feel get fund. If we support them, if we help them mm -hmm. to fit push the idea forward. So basically. The AKYDF bill seeks that uh, the average youth, the average young person is empowered economically. Recent research places the rate of unemployment in Akwaibom at 48.9%. That is over 1.5 million people who are either unemployed or working in jobs far below their qualifications and this figure keeps rising. To address the problems of youth unemployment in Akwaibom, a strategic vision and plan of action for youth in Akwaibom state is urgently required, especially considering that there is no ratified state youth policy. AKYDF is an advocacy campaign backed by 53 civil society organizations calling on government and state legislators to enact a law that allocates a seed fund of 3 billion naira to be progressively increased annually that will provide funds for youth empowerment initiatives designed to tackle unemployment from multiple angles.
based on research and consultations with various stakeholders, including Ministry of Youth, Civil Society Organizations, and the youth themselves, seven key areas were identified for investment, enterprise and entrepreneurship development, labor market research and impact evaluation, transition to work programs, technical and vocational education training, attitudinal social reorientation programs, economic diversification of non-oil sector, technological innovation and agriculture, and funding youth cooperatives. Let's see how far we've gone yet. Oh, we've gone quite far. I would say 70%, especially with That's the call for public impressive. hearing. Yeah. Okay, with the, yeah, okay. Yeah. so let's hear about that. The call for public hearing is on the 19th of September 2018. And we're so excited about this because this is a major step. It is. Uh, towards the passage of this bill into law and we had mm -hmm. waited more than a year for this to happen wow yeah. okay so where is it happening who is invited who can come can i come yeah can sure TV sure definitely we would we'll, we'll love to have you uh everyone can come every young person outside young people you could have a, a children mm. as an older person you you should show up everyone is invited come at to where? Um, <laughs> The Aquibom State House of Assembly Chapel okay. is happening by 10 a.m. on Wednesday, 19th what do you think will be of happening? September. The public hearing of the Aquibom Youth Development Fund there will be happening live. Okay then, so you're optimistic this is going to be passed into law? Yes, I am. I am optimistic that after now, after this stage, uh, when we uh, take it to the governor for accent, uh, I'm sure that it will be a smooth ride. The governor See? is a friendly governor, youth, youth friendly governor. We're very optimistic. We're very, very optimistic. Okay. The Aquabom State uh, would support this bill because it's a bill that's moving its youth forward. And when the youths are moved forward, when the youths have uh, economic empowerment, mm. they're, they're, there's returns to the state. Okay. The, the young people can pay taxes, they can contribute, and we have more money. Who doesn't want more money? I don't know. <laughs> well, um, let's see. How much support do you want from young people to get this passed into law? What can young people do to make sure that this is passed into law? Is there everyone, anything? everyone, every young person has something to do. What Put it exactly? up on Facebook. Talk about it. Write a letter to your representative in the House of Assembly. You know, do a text message to them if you have their number. Um, do a text message to, I think there's, there's a public um, a number uh, that you can send questions to regarding things happening to the, happening in the state. Yeah. Send a number, send your text message to that number. Uh, if you have access to the governor, start pushing. You know, some people have connection to connection. So if you have access to the governor, start pushing. Push on Facebook, push however you want to push. This is for posterity. This is beyond you. This will last for long. You should support this. Okay, is there somewhere we could sign a petition? Oh, like yeah, that? yeah, definitely. Okay. Sign the petition to show your support uh, for the AKYDF bill by logging on to www.yafnet.org. You see, uh, you see this, the petition uh, uh, signature there box. Uh, you just Okay. Just do the, the, the signing now, there. And of course, the, oh. okay, I want to uh, tell them of our Facebook handle that's It's a Life Foundation, and okay. of course on Twitter, Yaf NG. Very well then. Uh, there is this organization, a uh, group of young people, the Joseph Society. Oh, yeah. uh, would you tell us your relationship, the relationship between Youth Life Foundation and the Joseph Society? I understand a few months ago there have been sittings, if that's what it's called, mm -hmm. a convergence of young people and some young leaders together to talk on this bill. We are actually going to take excerpts from that. We would like to hear what they've been saying about it. But Okay, um, the, the Joseph Society is a, society, it's a group that is passionate about uh, the, the, the progress of the society and all of that. So when they heard about the Aquabom Youth Development Fund Bill, they said, wow, this is good, this is amazing. And they said to partner with us to push, just as we have other 53 groups already partnering with us to push. So uh, when we looked at the bill together, you know, they say two heads are better than one. Uh, there were some, uh, uh, some things that needed amendments. 
in the bill. So during that particular sitting, we we're able to sit together, walk around the bill, and to see how better we can have a bill that um, the executive, everyone, the stakeholders are comfortable with. Today's program has been on the AKYDF bill, a bill for a law to implement sustainable youth policy framework through the establishment of a Kwaibom Youth Development Fund, sponsored by Honorable Emmanuel Bass. Okay, Youth Life Foundation tells us in strong authority that on Wednesday, the 19th of September 2018, we will be having the public hearing of this at the Akwaibum State House of Assembly Chapel. And so, if you're a young person and you are interested in your growth and that of your children and born, I'm thinking you should be there. Passion TV will be there. So, for now, we'll be taking you into what the Joseph Society did and all the people that attended that hearing that conversation on this bill. Check it out. Okay, that has been it on the show today, but just before we go, there are questions and concerns that are begging for answers. For instance, Will the Akwaibum State House of Assembly pass this bill into law? Is His Excellency Governor Dom Emmanuel, a youth-friendly governor, will he assent to this bill or not? And if he won't, why? Don't you want to know? Well, I think we'll hear more after this hearing. And until then, keep watching Passion TV. I am Seba Valentine.